Okay, I got the uh, transmission cooler, uh, Hayden model 679. It's the biggest one they have. So uh, we'll get started with uh, installing. Yeah, take the four bolts off, one right here. Just wanna show you, this is the front of the FJ, right here. One, two, right in the hole, three, and four, right here. And uh, there's a hanging hook right here, let me show you. Holding it, and that just uh, drops down. So hang tight, I'll take it off, and uh, we'll have access to the undercarriage. Okay, the horn is in the way. Loosened it up, take that off. As it turned out, this uh, 679, it's extremely big. Well, it's about an inch uh, bigger than uh, I could fit it right in there. Uh, went to Napa. It's actually by Hayden as well. It's actually just repackaged for Napa. 7511 is a match for 679. And 678 is a match for 7510. Right here, positioning. I tried different uh, configuration, but what I'm going to do is right there, line it up, drill a hole there. And then that place right here at the bottom, I'm just going to do self-tapping screws right here against the frame. Self-tapping screws, maybe a couple of them, and I should be good to go. Pre-drill the hole there, and right here. And a self-tapping screws right there. Is we're going to do an in series application here. We're not going to bypass the radiator. Uh, so, this thing right here will now go on to the uh, transmission cooler, and this one will return right here. This is a uh, quick representation on simplified for, for some of you who are diagram people. So, here we go transmission right here. You got two pipes or two uh, hoses coming out from it. Um, one is actually an intake and the other one is the uh, output. So um, as your transmission fluid gets warm, it actually takes you all the way right here. This is the warm transmission fluid. And then once it cools off, uh, it flows right here on this pipe and back to the transmission for it to be used again. So that's a representation of it. This is the top of the radiator. That's the cap, that's the bottom, this is the radiator. Again, this is the top side uh, hose or pipe or outlet that you need, to, you need to interrupt. So the new ways of doing it, right here, all we're doing, uh, the bottom one, leave it alone, right? Leave that alone, that's the return, okay? And transmission fluid actually has a good operating temperature coming from here. And I don't want to interrupt that. So what I did was, this is the hot one, right? It's actually the hot uh, fluid coming out of the transmission. And that's the one I want to cool off. And you used to connect right here directly. But we're not going to directly plug it in there because that's the old ways right here right? It just goes from here and we're bypassing that, but instead we're going to connect that to the cooler right here. Once you get that, of course, the fluid will go through the, um, the pipes and so on, aluminum fins and so on, and cool it off. And then it returns it to the radiator. And don't forget, it's already cooled off. So what's going to do is just going to drop it right here, put it in a good operating temperature of the fluid itself, and then bring it back to the transmission. And that's it. It used half of a quart 
um, for Toyota. This is the this actually came from Pep Boys. Uh, it's Type WS, and it's specifically for Toyota. So I pumped it on the other tube using this pump right there, and. Um, as you know, the uh, transmission cooler is empty, so you're definitely going to need some of that uh, transmission fluid. Uh, transmission cooler secured, screwed into place. Uh, next thing you need to do is to attach the hose. And this is actually a fuel clamp. I attached it. If it's good enough for fuel, it's definitely going to be good for uh, uh, transmission fluid. Underneath and all the way right here and that's how I ran it and then from here I'm gonna take you underneath all the way down I'm underneath and I ran it right here you can see that right here there's two of them metal, so it's definitely the one below where I attached it to. And again, all the way right there. I'm gonna follow that right here, all the way to the top. Right there. I stay clear from any of your suspension, but that's how I ran it. This is the right hand tube after I filled it with oil. I actually try to avoid the kink, so I actually run it around the battery right here, coming out right here. So it's an extra long hose, but I ran it, I ran it around the battery to prevent that kink, and I attached it right there. So this is the old pipe or the old hose. Just left it in there. I gotta go uh, do my first camping, but I definitely want to uh, make sure that it's uh, it's still there, and then eventually I'll take it off after our first trip. But that's how you install a um, transmission fluid cooler, um, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe, and I'll be doing a whole lot more with this FJ and with regards to uh, my uh, travel trailer. Thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that notification bell uh, so you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you so much again.